Hey guys and welcome to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial we are going to do some big do bigness exercise. Uh, so this is the picture of which we are going to make. So it's a uh, uh, 3D uh, uh, 90 degree elbow which is used to join pipelines meeting at 90 degree. So this video will focus on improving your bigness skill in Fusion 360. So if you are new to Fusion 360 and watching this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and if you want to sus support my channel then there is the paypal link you can view that link and support our channel so let's get started without wasting any time so what we have see what we are seeing here here is a pipe which is bent at uh, which is bent at 90 degree and the thickness of the pipe is uh, here it's in the side view uh, this is the front view this is the side view and the thickness of the pipe is as you can see it's 100 mm We are assuming all dimensions to be 100 mm. So it's the 100 mm and the uh, The uh, radius of the arc at which the pipe bends is around 200 radius 200 mm radius Okay, uh, so Let's get started by making this arc first then we can See the other details also so for that Click on the center circle, choose any plane you want and draw a circle of, uh, we can see that the, the circle we used to draw this arc is about the radius of 200 mm that's when the diameter is 400 mm. So make a circle of diameter 400 mm and draw a line from the center point to this point and another line from this point to this point. Now press T to enable the trim command and trim the axis part this and this and this. Now we have an arc uh, like this of radius 200 mm. Now we can see the arc length starts from here to here and there is a vertical line, a horizontal line of 50 mm this side and a vertical line of 50 mm this side. So let's make these two lines, click on the line command draw a horizontal line of 50 mm this side and a 50 mm uh, this side so we have a 50 mm you can check whether they are tangent or not if, if they are not tangent you can just make them tangent from uh, this option but you can see there's an option for tangent but that means they both are tangent to the circle circular arc so now we have to make the pipe this this the section of the midsection so for that we know that the diameter of the pipe is 100 mm so for that just go to the create command click on pipe command and select the path it will ask about the path select the path uh, make the distance as one at it will be it will act as 100 percent distance the section size is 100 mm although and you can click on the hollow to make the pipe hollow yeah just click on the hollow and it will ask you about the section thickness which means that it will ask you about the thickness of the section the thickness the difference between the outer diameter and the inner diameter for that uh, we we have to see this picture so we, we say that the uh, diameter of the hole is around 75 mm and the diameter of the pipe is uh, this pipe I, we are talking about this pipe we are not talking about this extruded section so the difference between the uh, this 100 mm diameter pipe and the 100 meter diameter hole is around 25 so that means if we divide 25 into two parts that means this thickness the thickness between the this dotted line and this line is around 25 divided by 2 that means 12.5 mm so we can do 25 oblique 2 and we can just click on new component and press ok so you can see that the hollow of the pipe is at the, the main section of the pipe has been created now we have to create this extruded part so for that the, the, we can see that the diameter of the extruded part is 150 mm and it, it has been extruded to 200 mm uh, to 20 mm sorry so just click on create a sketch select this particular plane uh, press C to enable the center circle command and draw a circle of 150 mm now click on extrude 
select this and the inner circle and and make a extrude uh, of uh, 20 mm make this 20 click on join and press ok now do the same on this side also click click on this or you can just uh, make the create a sketch and select this face click on press c to enable the center circle and make the diameter as 150 and you can press e to extrude the shortcut for e comma extrude command select both of these circles make extrude of 20 click on join and press ok now we have done 90 percent of the work now the test thing is about the circle so we can see that the diameter of the circle is 10 mm and there are six holes so it's written 10 into six holes and the distance of the hole from the center is not given so we have assumed it of 65 mm from the center so to do that just click on this and create a sketch uh, press c uh, command to enable circle put your pointer just don't click put your coin pointer on the center and slowly move towards the right side making the on a straight line and anywhere draw a circle of 10 mm now after that now after that uh, press the sketch dimension command or d select the midpoint of this circle and the midpoint of this circle and make this distance as 65 mm now once done click on extrude command press on this circle you have just created and extrude it towards the back so that it creates a hole in this coupling so once the hole is created you can go back to create click on pattern and click on circular pattern now we have just make sure you have a pattern type as selected as features so the last click on as we talk to you about the object the easiest one is to select the last feature that the last root cut we have done so select the last root you can see now the hole has been already selected and click on the axis you want to revolve around this axis so you can choose any axis any circular axis so i'm choosing this and the quantity will be six and oh i'm sorry the quantity right click on this go to edit feature the quantity will be six and press ok now just repeat the same process for this also let me just draw a circle from here of 10 mm make the distance from here to here as 65 and press ok click on extrude have this extruder extrude the hole and press ok now go to create go to pattern go to circular pattern again repeat the same step click the last object that you have done and click on this axis the quantity will be 6 make it 6 and press ok now 99% uh, thing has been done the only thing is done that we can see that there is a small, a small fillet between the joining of this coupling and the pipe main pipe and the radius of the that coupling is given here that is the radius is 5 so what we are gonna do go to modify go to fillet or you can just press F for the shortcut of the fillet and move the camera by pressing shifting or mouse wheel or any other setting that your software works on uh, just click on this edge and rotate the camera and click on this edge now you can Change their diameter of the fillet or the radius of the fillet by sliding this arrow or you can just give the radius of 5 mm and press ok Now you can see our uh, Is completed of drawing 3d model of this drawing is completed You can add appearance by going to appearance um, you can add the copper appear if you want the pipe to be made up of copper it looks quite good but let's see what we have got here so let's go to metal click on bronze or copper copper polished and make sure it's copper 
so here it is hope you guys will like the video please comment any queries and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel and if you guys really love us please support financially through the paypal link for our international viewers and the phone pay link for our indian viewers thank you guys keep supporting